Hey everyone, it's a new year, same Paragon, but as always, we've got new products. My name's Jeremy, let's get started. First up, we have a big item and it's for the Z06 and it's an Aventuri intake that Paragon worked with Aventuri to help design. We did hundreds of dyno tests, dyno runs, different iterations of this intake and here we are it's finally done and we're ready to release it we've already started the pre-order a lot of you have seen uh, dyno videos comparisons there's a lot of information out there on the youtubes already and now it's available the pre-order has started the first batch is sold out we are now into the second batch which is 70 percent sold out so right now we're kind of into that end of march frame for people that are going to buy this intake the intake gains over 40 horsepower over 40 foot pounds of torque in the mid-range while still giving a nice impressive gain at the peak point and honestly I've been doing cars for a long time and I've never felt an intake that makes this much power in the mid-range. You're in third gear, you hit the gas and it breaks loose. It is wild. Matt over at Rear Wheel Drive C8, he's also done a zero to 60 and 60 to 130 with the 60 to 130 taking a second off his time with his draggy, which is insane. Can't explain how cool this is in the Z06 and how much power it makes. So if you have a Z06, this is one of those must haves if you are a guy that needs a little extra power. Next up from Paragon, we have another Z06 item. This is one we've done for the Stingray already, uh, and it is for the license plate area of the rear bumper on the Z06. Kind of helps offset that area. Uh, again, it's one of my favorite things to have done to a white car. Even red looks really good, blue honestly anything but black um, because it helps separate all that painted space you have on the back of the bumper around the license plate it's available in carbon fiber right now if you're looking for carbon flash uh, wait till about may we'll probably have that video head over to the website take a look at the picture of it on our z06 and grab one for yourself last new paragon item is steering wheels so in the past we have had our Paragon steering wheel, which is non-heated, but we've had it with red stretching and a red center stripe. Now we have it available in fluorescent yellow, blue, gray, and orange. So if you have one of those cars that wants those colors to work with, pop on over to the website. Those are now available and we have a bunch of those ready for you to install in your car. Moving on to CCS, we have three items from this month. The first one being a replica of the GM engine dress FAA kit for either the Z06 or the Stingray. So if you like those carbon fiber panels that are on the right and left hand side of the engine bay that kind of mount to the strut towers there, they now have a replica in carbon fiber. Very easy install. You can't mess it up and it's gonna look great. The second item from CCS is going to be a carbon fiber rear diffuser overlay. Now, unlike the fins that we've presented in the fast, this is more of a uh, full centerpiece. It's gonna have all four fins and it's also gonna cover up a little bit of the factory OEM bumper there. Uh, it's gonna bolt in the bottom. The rest of it's gonna 3M on and it gives that whole center section a carbon fiber look. And then you, around the outside of that, you do have your continued carbon flash from the factory. It's a nice way to split it up, especially if you got an exhaust there in between. Helps set it off a little bit. I like the item. If you want to see some pictures, you know where our website's at. And the last one from CCS is something our boy Rob here asked for at Paragon, and that is for a Z06 red engine bay intake manifold cover. So in the past, we've talked about the carbon fiber, and now we have it in red. So if you didn't get a red intake plenum, you can add this to it and that's gonna set it off a little bit. Uh, it does break up the engine bay. I do like this item, so kudos for Rob for bringing this one up. And this month, DBA has finally blessed us with all of the rotors. These have been on order for a year and apparently it just takes that long for a boat to come from Australia to here in the United States. And what we have is we have a slew of stuff. So in the past, we've had the front rotors, which are a slotted design now we can match those up with a rear slotted design and these are a single piece rotor and dba has their uh, cat their patented kangaroo paw technology for the center that helps release heat uh, if you're on track or doing spirited driving so those are now available so you can match your front and rears and then moving on we now have their two-piece setup and these are going to come in front and rears 
And it gets confusing because they have all the options. And the first setup is gonna be just a slotted two-piece front and a slotted two-piece rear. And then we also have cross-drilled front and cross-drilled rear two-piece setup. Now you don't get cross-drilled and slotted, it's just either or. It does get a little confusing, so I highly recommend going over the website, looking at the pictures, seeing what you're after. Uh, the two-piece setups are obviously gonna be lighter than the single-piece setups, and the price points for the two-piece are obviously higher. Um, but if you're tracking your car, now you have more options than just gyro disc, EBC, and things like that. So again, if you're into braking, track days, or you just wanna give your car that actual performance look that GM messed up by not including nice looking rotors with your car, now we have tons of options out there. And if you're too confused on rotor options, email us, support at paragonperf.com. We'll get you covered. We can link you to exactly what you need. So don't be afraid to hit us up. Before we move on to more performance items, we're gonna talk about an item that I forgot about a couple years ago, which are two sets of wheels from Vazen. They are HF2, HF7, and they are in a 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, and these are gonna fit your stock wheels and tires. So if you're looking for something that's gonna dress up, it's a great option. And they are available in a gloss back. We have a couple sets in stock. I don't know how I missed it. We've been doing the 20, 21s for a while. And then I was like, hey, where's the 19s and 20s? But now we have them. Moving on to performance, we have a set of axles from G-Force. These are some of the largest independent rear suspension axles made on the market for the C8 Corvette. So before you go to the drag strip and break one, be smart and upgrade to G-Force axles. And the big deal for performance this month is the Texas Speed head and cam package for the C8 Corvette. We've installed this on our gray car that we're gonna use for track driving. Wow, this is insane. There's a couple different cam options to choose from. Uh, the car sounds rowdy. I mean, to look at the C8 Corvette and have that big cam like you would expect out of any other old muscle car, it's a pretty crazy sound to hear. And the camera can't pick it up, but it shakes the whole car when it is at idle. It's super cool. Drivability is on point. I've been driving our car around a little bit here when it's not snowing. I love it. It sounds great. It has amazing mid-range, and it's something we can do now here in our shop for, for you. So if you're looking for a cam package with heads, hit us up. We do them here in-house. We tune it in-house. We can do E85, 93, flex fuel, whatever you're looking for. Uh, but you're gonna get up into the mid 500s on this package. It's awesome. We are down to two items left. The next one is for you E-Ray owners. I know a lot of you have your cars already, just kidding, nobody does. We have a part that's specifically for the E-Ray, and that's that E-Ray badge. So if you wanna clown on some people with your Z06, this is for you. You can pull off that Z06 badge, slap the E-Ray badge on there, be the first one to your car show with an E-Ray. And the last one is near and dear to my heart because it's for the Cadillac CT5D Blackwing. It's a little project car we have around here that we have very few parts for, but Lightworks has introduced a carbon fiber engine cover for it. It looks amazing on the car, just like everything else. And if you are a CT5V Blackwing fan, stay tuned. We have ours in the dyno and we're starting to do tuning options for that car. That's it for us in January for Paragon and all the new products for your C8 Corvette or your Blackwing or whatever else we talked about. I'm not even sure, it was a long one. I'm out of here, it's snowing and it's negative 40. So we'll check in February and I hope it's much better. Clap. You have to clap first. It's important. That's a pretty cool part. What? I'm, I'm Your butt dyno is not I'm, in, yeah, in calibration I'm, mode. I'm it just feels the same. So, you know, it's not a Civic. <laughs> Did I pronounce it wrong? Eventuri. 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 It's like a Corvette. Like, you want red on red? Why would you do red on red? It's not cool. You got to split it up. I like the red on black because it splits it up. I'll go look at it and I'm sure it looks like crap. You kids, man. I say, I tell you what.